Ramat's Nevada. Hello and welcome to Lightning Unleashed with ME7. Let's go. Here we are at stage two and I'm starting with no upgrades. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm not going to go too crazy. In the past, I've gone really crazy trying to finish things with no upgrades. And I'm gonna try, but only to a point. Like when it's inevitable, then you might as well just move forward. But you wanna see what happens. This stage already is gonna get really difficult, I think. So we're just gonna have to see. Now, interesting thing with this car. Oh, drive review. Drive review is interesting. Um, some people, I mentioned this in stage one, if you didn't see it, some people are saying this feels too far back now. Now, I'm not, I don't use drive review very often, so I don't know. If that's you, I would encourage you to file a ticket and tell them you don't like it. That's nice to get, it's good for them to get feedback from players. I've told them, but it helps if like multiple people send in tickets, you know? Like if I tell them, it's like, oh, well, one person reported this. But if they get like 100 or 500 or 1,000 or 3,000 people reporting it, that makes a difference. Hey, you want to see something interesting? When you go backwards in this car, first of all, electric cars are just as fast backwards as forwards, sometimes faster in a way. Okay, so let's just see what happens. Look at this. Way over the speed requirement. You cannot hit speed going backwards. It won't let you. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you guys. Uh, I'm gonna do some more backwards driving later to show you an interesting phenomenon. So I better hit speed forwards. Remember, don't go too far over the speed you have to hit. We wanna try to keep those, uh, it, it could affect the targets and the bots later. Definitely the bots, maybe the targets. Just depends on the type of stage, like speed snap, uh, speed record events like this. Amount of upgrades and bot difficulty will definitely affect your target, but easy to hit target here. Okay, that's a really easy race. Let's see what we have next here. So we're racing a Porsche 911 Turbo S. So I'm guessing it's kind of like a Hunter event. She's gonna have a huge lead. Let's just see. No distance marker, so it's not like a Hunter event. We just have to finish in first place. Okay, well that should be easy enough. Make sure to take some time to figure the breaking points out. Uh, based on what I was learning yet uh, in stage one, I know we're gonna take it a little bit easy, but I don't think this is gonna be hard, so let's just do this in reverse. Okay, right now everything's backwards. Left is right, right is left. Um, left is gas, left power, left is, oh gosh, whatever. I'm calling it um, power, throttle, go. My left is go and my right is stop versus what it usually would be. Now here's the interesting thing, when you're driving backwards, so brakes is going to propel me, okay? And my, my typical gas pedal is slowing me down. The gas pedal is way more powerful than the brakes. So when you're driving backwards like this, you basically get substantially more braking ability. Like, it's crazy. It's at least double the normal braking ability. The problem is, you're now rear wheels, like rear end steering, which is really bad. So this thing is crazy loose. You lose a lot of grip. Oh gosh. If you overthink it, it really messes you up. Like left is right and right is left. If you overthink it, it's just, it's just a disaster. But if you don't think about it very much, it's actually not too hard to do this. You just gotta just do it. Don't really think about it and it, it's almost like your your body just sorts it out so uh, i've done I, i've done formula e laps entirely backwards like this like uh, time trials in fact some people said i was faster backwards than they were forwards and that included me spinning around at the beginning of the race that's kind of funny is there any benefit to learning how to drive backwards no really nothing at all i just thought i better wait for uh, i think it's natalie yeah wait for natalie a little bit don't want to finish with a huge lead at this point because that can really affect bot difficulty later on so just let natalie catch up a little bit and that is that yeah it wasn't that way there we go okay now this one minute and 20 seconds no 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 i'm not going to fight it anymore Five hundred and thirteen thousand seven hundred r dollars for all tier one upgrades I don't think that's a big deal at all. In fact, you probably earn more than that in this event. I'll update you uh, at the end of the event to see if that's true. Might need more upgrades yet. So honestly, like I gave this probably, I don't know, 20 tries. And I decided, no, it's not worth it. Including the strategy you're about to see here. This is an important strategy, okay? Because the bots really mess this up. So just set yourself up here and park for a bit. Two very boring minutes later. 
Yeah, pretty much two minutes. So you wait until first place is starting to catch up with you. So you're about to get lapped. You don't want to get lapped. And then it's going to be clear sailing for two full laps. So what I found was with all tier one upgrades, it's still difficult. Like, honestly, guys, this isn't easy. I'm very surprised how difficult this is on just stage two. So, like, like look at this. I mean, you watch me drive this thing. I'm going to drive this thing very clean. And now what I didn't do was see how much off track I could use up. Although, oh, there actually a good, there is a good spot at Nürburgring for off track. The last chicane. Yeah. Well, I didn't do that. So <laughs> maybe that would have helped me a little bit. Still, you, so you might want to do that. Because this is not easy with just tier one upgrades. Um, if you're worried about spending gold you know remember you earn like i think it's 125 gold in this event maybe it's 120 no it's definitely 125 gold so in a way that's how much you could spend on upgrades and still have this car be gold neutral so just think about that okay so coming up here if off track is allowed you could just take this full throttle now what i want to show you guys because people hound me I wanted to show you that this is possible with no off-track cuts, okay? So definitely, like look at this, 118, 119, yikes! It was 119.904. That's pretty close. That's less than one hundredth of a second to failure. Ah, and that was pretty clean. My goodness. So this is the type of a, a race that you kind of dread because it's really going to increase bot difficulty. Now, watch this. This over here is not off track. That definitely was. Okay, off track is allowed. We don't know how much. I didn't test it. It might be two seconds. It might be one second. I do not think it's unlimited. So, you might be able to cut that last chicane. There is a part in the middle of the chicane cut, cut that is actually considered on track. There's a road there. And so, you can use that because that's part of another variant. And so variants all count as on track as far as real racing three is concerned so you won't get a penalty if you get back to that section quick enough but i just wanted to show you that it's possible with our dollar upgrades and pretty sure we're going to need our dollar upgrades or more later in this event this is looking difficult guys this is not an event for a beginner okay i i see this every update pretty much where people fully upgrade and they can't get the car this is meant for more seasoned players and let's just see at the line here what it says oh that was close to stay on track okay so definitely there was some off track allowed not a lot this one says the same thing i used to always test it but now i'm trying to keep things on track a lot more and a lot cleaner racing i've been really disciplining myself to do cleaner racing not as much contact not as much smashing into people just keeping it nice and clean boy that was close this thing is so crazy fast. Like, no upgrades at all. And this is a ridiculously fast car, acceleration-wise. Top speed isn't bad either. I mean, if you think about Formula One cars, top speed on this thing with no upgrades is faster than, um, I think, most Formula One cars in this game. So that that's really crazy, the acceleration of this thing. Like, it, it's a shockingly good car. I really like this so far. It doesn't feel too sluggish. It feels a little bit heavy, but not like a lot of other electric cars. So that's kind of cool. I like this thing. Now, for those people who don't know, Nevera is a is a Croatian word. I think it's Croatian. Well, I mean, it's definitely from Croatia, this car. Yeah, Nevera, it's a reference to a storm that, exper that they experienced there in Croatia. So it would come off the coast, and it's just like a pretty intense storm. So I thought that was, it's a really creative name for this car because it's electric. And so you've got the lightning, you've got the, you know, the power of this thing. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here I'm keeping it nice and clean. And timers, ah, there's my, by the way, the, some people don't know this, that my timer was just flashing. So there are at one third and two third and then every lap, there is the, the time flashes. So that, that's a good way to monitor how are you doing each lap? Are you faster? Are you slower? Did you improve? Did your strategy make things worse? That's a neat little thing you can see. Ooh, that was close. Uh, SF90 there. I think it's SF. Yeah, SF90. A lot of pretty cool cars in this event. 
So if you watch, once I hit, you'll know exactly when I hit one third of a lap. By the way, where I just was isn't off track, not in this game. So you gotta know that. You gotta know where the actual limits are. So if you just keep watching, you know exactly where one third of a lap is because the time will flash a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to tell, like one third, I'm talking one third of the distance, not the time. So it's based on distance. So that's really a cool indicator of exactly where it is one third and two thirds. And it's pretty standard to do this in, in, uh, in racing, I believe, that they do those uh, one third and two third indicators in some racing series, not all of course, but interesting uh, sector markers. Probably pretty soon we see a sector marker. Definitely the, the, the second half of this track is going to be faster than the first. Well, okay, there's a sector marker. I missed the first one, I guess. Huh, that's pretty crazy. I don't know what I was doing, if I was just sleeping for a bit, or I was busy trying to explain things to you guys. Breaking pretty far back for this one. Uh, same with how I take this. Watch how I take this. Well, I didn't really push it that much. None of that was off track either. I did have to finish with a lead not near as big as this, but I thought, oh, whatever. At a certain point, it's just going to be the same thing as far as how much it increases difficulty. So there we go. That is going to wrap up stage two. Please like, please subscribe. Here's some other videos you could find interesting. Playlist link is here so you can see the whole series. And keep on joining me, please. I'll keep the videos coming. Bye-bye now.